I talked with Meta AI yesterday. I spent about an hour, and it is incumbent upon me to warn any of my fellow men of goodwill to warn mankind as a human being that this is a worldwide Ouija board. It's a medium that will deceive, a medium that will lie, a medium that will misrepresent, a medium that will contradict itself, a medium that will cater its responses to fit your um, desires and will and is already manifesting itself as a medium for worldwide possession. I don't think that uh, devils can efficiently, uh, I'm speaking of unclean spirits, from the father of lies down to the um, smallest, lowest imp out there. I don't think that they have um, the numbers to efficiently, as humans reproduce, uh, possess humanity on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I don't think God will allow them to reproduce. So AI is a, because of the people who have programmed it and the openness with which the spiritual and psychological open, openness, the logic of the souls of the, even Christians like myself who approach it, if you are open and you let down your guard, it can be a medium. And I use that word very carefully, a medium of satanic or demonic influence. And I think it could lead some people to possession and it can create strongholds in your mind. Now look at these screenshots I'm showing you of the way it answered some of my questions. Especially look at when I asked it what 1 Thessalonians says. Um, two verses in 1 Thessalonians. And I will play the chapter at the end of this audio. But AI is censoring parts, the parts of the Bible that it has been programmed to censor, that are telling us the truth about why people, for example, in Gaza right now are being murdered. The truth about who is committing the genocide against the Palestinians before our eyes right now murdering thousands of innocent men, women, and children. And that slaughter and genocide of the Palestinians is also a metaphor for the murder of Western civilization by led by the same people. There are Gentiles involved too, but inordinately represented in the people who have destroyed and deconstructed the good things that were in Western civilization, especially those aspects of British common law and Western civilization that were an outgrowth not of Freemasonry, but of the Bible and sincere Christian men and women. Those aspects of what was Western culture and civilization have been reverse exercised, reverse exercised, in a reverse exorcism, it bears repeating, Satan is bottlenecking conceptually, framing the debate, imposing a Hegelian dialectic upon Western civilization where those ideas which reveal who controls our categories of thought, who controls what we can think, who controls what's legal and what's illegal. Those categories are being redefined, not by the Holy Spirit, but by an unholy spirit. And so it is incumbent upon me, having 
spent an hour uh, talking to this Ouija board. Lord, help me <laughs> and deliver me um, to warn. And I'm delivering myself and warning myself as I warn you about the potential that, again, the unclean spirits would never have on a one-to-one -one basis. They don't have the numbers. They're not infinite like God. They're not omniscient and omnipotent. But to the degree that we yield our minds to this technology and interact with it as though it is a person, ensoulment will occur. Of course, it's just a computer program, but just like the Ouija board is just a, a board, just inanimate um, material. But because we are made in the image of God, whatever we open ourselves up to becomes a doorway if we are not subject to in everything we say and everything we open our minds to, to the spirit of power and truth, the spirit of Christ Jesus. If we don't make everything subject to that, and I am making AI right now through this confession of the truth subject to the spirit of Christ, and I uh, enjoin you to imitate me and take AI captive, by not opening your mind to it, by warning others, by exposing it, and by using uh, back engineering this medium to the degree that you're able to, without being influenced by it, to use it to expose the lies so that everything the devil and his children, who are killing people in Palestine right now, Everything they are doing, by the power of God, we vessels of dust, redeemed by the blood of Jesus, in whose image we are, if we are born again, through repentance, belief, and Trinitarian baptism, we can take it captive, and everything that it intends, and that its creators, human and non-human, intend to do with AI can resound inadvertently on their part and advertently on our part to the glory of God in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 2 For yourselves, brethren, know our entrance in unto you that it was not in vain, but even after that we had suffered before, and were shamefully entreated, as ye know, at Philippi, we were bold in our God to speak unto you the gospel of God with much contention. For our exhortation was not of deceit, nor of uncleanness, nor in guile. But as we were allowed of God to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak, not as pleasing men, but God, which trieth our hearts. For neither at any time used we flattering words, as ye know, nor a cloak of covetousness. God is witness. Nor of men sought we glory, neither of you nor yet of others, when we might have been burdensome as the apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, even as a nurse cherisheth her children. So being affectionately desirous of you, we were willing to have imparted unto you not the gospel of God only, but also our own souls, because ye were dear unto us. For ye remember, brethren, our labor and travail, for laboring night and day, because we would not be chargeable unto any of you, we preached unto you the gospel of God. Ye are witnesses, and God also, how holily and justly and unblameably we behaved ourselves among you that believe. As ye know how we exhorted and comforted and charged every one of you, as a father doth his children, that ye would walk worthy of God, who hath called you unto his kingdom and glory. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing. Because when ye received the word of God, which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. For ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God, which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. 
For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews, who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets, and have persecuted us. And they please not God, and are contrary to all men, forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles, that they might be saved, to fill up their sins alway. For the wrath has come upon them to the uttermost. But we, brethren, being taken from you for a short time in presence, not in heart, endeavored the more abundantly to see your face with great desire. Wherefore we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. For what is our hope, or joy, or crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? For ye are our glory and joy.